when I started this out, I thought, well, I've had 30 years of experience working with this group of people, family businesses, family foundations, and family offices. And I thought, well, I can talk about systems thinking, but never did I think I would learn so much. Yeah. Um, and the last six years has held me accountable to, the, to doing the way I think. And that's been a kind of surprise, that if I'm going to talk about systems and my place in it and my responsibility, well, then I better observe systems and pay attention to my own functioning. And I think the result for me is that I've gotten much more rigorous in thinking systems with client systems in my own family and for being more of a self, which is, as we all know, kind of at the core of this concept of defining a self to social systems. Yeah. What I've learned and what has operationalized in my own life is that I think I have become a better practitioner, a better family member in, in what it requires of me to think systems and be a self. What I was really interested and curious to see is what adding, what I had come to integrate in my own personal life, my own clinical practice, which is the neurofeedback, the brainwave training, how that would in fact impact learning. And the way I think about it is that to have neurofeedback just embedded in the learning opportunity gave people a chance to experience an integration at different levels of the organism more than just the cognitive, more than just learning about a theory kind of thing and even talking about the family. It really addressed, I think, more deeper the levels of chronic anxiety that everyone brings to the learning. I think that the, the most obvious thing to me is that thing people could learn quicker, particularly related to cutoffs in their life and high levels of reactivity to people in their life. That there was a way in which that was um, expedited in their learning, that it didn't take as long as I remember it taking me, <laughs> not having that kind of earlier experience where you're, you're literally the technology allows the system of the body, brain, central nervous system to experience the facts of itself, just as learning Bowen theory expands your understanding of a system at a, at a more you know, a behavioral level or at the system level. This gives that opportunity. And I think what I've seen is that it, this isn't for everybody. I mean, I don't think it's been absolutely, not everybody did this. But I think for those that have, uh, that they were quicker to take on what they could see they had to take on, even though it was hard. Do you tell them this beforehand? Or no, do you? you do not tell them. <laughs> well, I want, number one, really like working with my colleagues. You know, so I think being able to be with people who you respect and admire and can learn from, and then having the people in the course be people that you respect and admire and can learn from, that, that's been the most fun. I think my overall goal is working on being a better observer and being more separate from the emotional system. So I like to do a lot of interrupting <laughs> and being a little bit of a pest, but it, it enables me to keep sense of humor and the emotional system right out here where I can more or less watch it and then watch how it's impacting me. So a lot of what I'm interested in is how do you learn in, a, in constantly working on being more separate from others. So I'll look at the camera, but I really want to be more separate from it. And this is a kind of a fun enterprise for me that it makes such a difference in people's lives when they can grasp that there is an emotional system and that it, it's impersonal in nature. So I really admire people who are courageous enough to want to take that on.